So this is just this is like a very quick demonstration of how you can um, go about doing this. Um, so if I wanted to fill this gap in, um, you know, I could go ahead and go into vertice mode, press Control R, left click, right click, um, come down here, press Control R, left click, right click, and that's pretty much just placing new vertices down. I can then click on this vertice, hold down Shift, click that one, press F to fill it in. Same here. Click that one. Hold Shift, F, and I want to bridge these two gap, these edges together. So, go into Edge Mode. Choose that edge. Hold on Shift. Choose that one. Press F to fill it. Um, we've got a lot of stuff going on here, but we can go ahead and choose this edge and this edge. Press F. I want to come across here and bridge this gap. So, press Control R, left click, right click. Um, we can go ahead and bridge these together now. So. Hold, click that edge, hold shift, click that one, F, same here, that one, hold shift, click that one, F. Um, I want to then bridge these edges together, these vertices, sorry. So click that vertice, that one, F to fill it in. Um, I'm going to press Control R, left click, right click to place a vertice. Um, click that edge, sorry, that vertice, hold shift, click that one, press F. I'm going to go ahead and do the same here. Click that vertice, hold on shift, click that one. Go into edge mode, choose these two opposing edges, press F, choose that one and that one, F, this one, this one, F, this one, this one, F. It all depends on the topology that you're going with. This is an obviously good example because it's quite triangulated anyway, but um, I hope that helped you um, somewhat. If you have any more questions, then please leave um, you know, a comment, I guess, in the description and I will gladly help you.